Greetings America, I'm back and I do have to apologize because it's been over a month since I shot that last video out there in Milton and I was so ecstatic and I was so happy and it was all good but a lot has been happening <laughs> in this last 30 days and I do apologize for the delay but hey a brother running for Congress man <laughs> it's been such a blessing we've been getting so much support from around the country and also with the grassroots right here in Georgia we've been seeing a lot of success a lot of support coming a lot of people moms dads sisters brothers grandmas granddads everybody has been coming out and supporting the campaign so thank you thank you but this is not a political video this is not about the campaign this is all about how I was able to beat COVID and by doing something of what you're looking at right now <laughs> walking <laughs> and doing a whole heck of a lot of walking matter of fact I think I'm well over my goal of walking over a thousand miles I think I'm at 1150 miles so far but the fact is even when I was really 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 sick I had to get out and enjoy this right here this beautiful beautiful sunshine getting this all natural vitamin D and unfortunately some people that's stuck in the hospital they can't get out and enjoy this but if you are blessed enough to be able to recover from this at home no matter how you're feeling I know you're gonna be tired the exhaustion is real but I would tell you this get out and exercise get out and get that vitamin D get out and get that Sun get that heat going and sweat those impurities out every single day trust me it will help I did it every single day I think I did about 40 or 50 miles walking while I was sick with COVID for those 14 days but now besides exercise you got to be able to eat good food a lot of the foods that we eat over here in the West especially in America is toxic it has too much sugar in it it has too many carbs in it it has too many impurities in it and it actually hurts us more than it helps even with a lot of the so-called healthy foods it's bad for you so you need to get in the habit of cooking for yourself and you know something I think it's about time for old YG to show you what I've been doing in the kitchen. I know I've been coming up with this cookbook, still working on it, putting the finishing touches on it, those last little sprinkles on it. But here is some of the food that I was eating. And now let's go to my kitchen and check out some delicacies that helped me get over COVID. Oh yeah. Look at that right there. Can you hear it, ladies and gentlemen? Beautiful chicken breast. Beautiful tender steak. Cooking. So delicately flipping it over. It's a beautiful thing when you're able to get back in the kitchen and cook for yourself. Putting a little thyme leaves on it just to give it just a little bit of that extra flavor pour it on YG pour it on there we go now we're cooking because when you're dealing with COVID or any kind of illness it's important to eat even though you don't have an appetite but put some crushed red pepper on there and it's surely to spice it up a little bit and it also eases the food through your digestive tract healthy eating is so very important and putting a little bit of that lemon pepper on there why gee you're just showing out <laughs> putting a little bit of that lemon pepper on there just really brings that flavor flavor up and i'm so happy that you guys are in my kitchen right now look at me i'm looking so happy right now best dads get promoted to grandpa you better believe it pro-life baby life is good now life is even sweeter oh when you see the steam come off of that meat look at that we almost done ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna flip it over some more and let it just simmer and some of this 
I put some uh, butter in there and it's some garlic butter with cinnamon that I added in there. And look at that, I'm pulling the meat out. In healthy living, eating good lean meats for protein gives you your strength back. That chicken breast, the steak, it's wonderful. And I'm going to let that steak rest for a second. And now I'm going to separate and put the chicken breast in. I just wanted it to go just a little bit longer, just a little bit, because these are some thick breasts right here. <laughs> I know, I know, I can hear y'all right now. YG, this is a family show. My children are watching this, and you're running for Congress. You got to be careful of what you're saying. I'm only talking about food. Get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> Now, I also got my pan prepared for the shrimp. And I've already seasoned the shrimp. And as you see, I'm struggling right here to get it open because I'm operating with one hand, holding the camera and cooking with the other. But pop that shrimp on in. It's already seasoned with the lemon pepper. It's already seasoned with the crushed red pepper. And you just let it sizzle for just a little bit. You just want it to get a little bit brown, just a little bit heat in there. You don't want to overcook it because I've already cooked the shrimp. Now I'm going to go just move it around and let that shrimp dance in that pot. Dance, babies, dance. <laughs> but it's a beautiful thing when you're able to get up and cook for yourself because for so long while I was dealing with COVID for those 14 days, I couldn't move, I couldn't really get up, I was fatigued and I couldn't cook for myself. But this day is a wonderful day. And when you start getting your energy back and you can start cooking for yourself, then you know that you're almost out of the woods. So now we let that chicken rest, we let the steak rest, and to all my chef friends out there, I know y'all saying, YG, you should have cleaned your stove better. But a brother was sick, all right? A brother was sick. But right now, look at this. And speaking of being sick, you got to take your vitamins. D3, C, and zinc. That was vital and very, very important. Because a good, strong vitamin regimen is the one thing that honestly helped to get me through. And of course, walking over a thousand miles, as I said earlier in the video, and losing 80 pounds also helped. And eating good food like this, chicken, eggs, shrimp, fish, fruits, water, good, clean eating. And as you see, I'm at 1,169 miles, over 2 million steps, and there I am at 340 pounds. And look at that. There I am. Yeah, that's a recent picture. I took that the day of this filming in the gym. And now look at this. Oh, there you go. I added some watermelon, added some fruit to this protein, and I got the sparkling water. Any sparkling water would do as long as it doesn't have sugar in it and artificial flavoring. It is perfect, and now look at what I'm adding. Look, I'm adding the organic vegetable juice. Now, this company is not a sponsor, but man, uh, the benefits of this juice is wonderful. I didn't like how it tasted in the beginning, but man, when you see the benefits of it and you feel good, you get past the taste, and I started liking it. Now look at that plate. Mmm, that's a happy patriot right there, right there. So God bless you guys. Thank you for being in my kitchen. And this is how I was able to get over COVID by taking my vitamins, losing weight, eating properly, and having a good diet. And yes, I took ivermectin. Ha 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 ha!